thought I'd let you see the latest two films from uh, Lawrence Fox. The first is filmed while he was um, while his house was being uh, invaded, searched. Morning, guys. Um, in London's knife-ridden capital city, where a 15-year-old girl was stabbed to death with a sword, we've got one, two. You can show them. One, two. Another three upstairs, stealing, going through my house to intimidate me because um, this is what the police are. They don't police with consent anymore. They police with fear and intimidation. That is the Stasi police force that we've got nowadays. Instead of being on the streets solving crimes like the murder of the poor 15 year old girl, they're on all over social media. But I'd take it. The um, ULES scam cameras outside of London are a complete. The outer ULES zone is a complete scam. There's no scientific evidence. Sadiq Khan rubbished the evidence and had it rewritten to serve his own needs. No one voted it. It's the beginning and bringing in of a surveillance state. And he's trying to make noises so that I can't say that. It's the beginning of a surveillance state and these boys... Are uh, this is all because he did a podcast and expressed sympathy for those people who were... Uh, smashing Euler's cameras. Uh, he said that he would go out and do the same and all that sort of stuff. Uh, he'd take an axe grinder and so on. Uh, I don't see very much difference between saying that in a in an entertainment video, uh, effectively, uh, and making a drill song to uh, send police around. So many police, uh, when there isn't really any evidence, he wasn't caught... Uh, axe grinding a Euler's camera. He simply said he wanted to do it. Well, you know, uh, Shakespeare, behind me, uh, uh, talked about murder. Uh, nobody actually expected him to have done that uh, in the same way. The drill people talk. Um, they, they, they use quite um, expressive language. Uh, I, I hope at some point uh, soon I'll be having a, a, um, a podcast with Woody Cook about exactly this and the the difference between what people say and whether or not they can be held responsible for what they say uh, in a court of law, whether or not what they say is artistic expression or whether it's a state of intent. And uh, it's, it, 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 I think it's very difficult to manufacture a charge that will stick on the back of what somebody says during a... Uh, uh, during an, an entertainment program. I mean, if he is a certified news reader or a news program, well, maybe there's a little bit of difference. But even then, if a news reader says something on the news, it doesn't mean that they're automatically guilty of what they say. In the same way, you know, uh, we, we're moving close to the Russian position, where if you go to the back of um, of, of, of the Russian news room and you and, and, and you protest about the war you merit a 20-year prison sentence or eight or eight and a half year prison sentence in a penal colony. This is madness. This is madness. Uh, even expressing opinions that you don't like, even pro protesting on the stage of the Sondheim Theatre, it shouldn't automatically uh, result in a, uh, in, in, a um, in, in a in an arrest, except, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the, there is a civil matter of paying back the audience. And, 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 and that, I think, probably means uh, somebody needs to be sued. But uh, presumably that means Just Stop Oil. The Just Stop Oil people need to be sued. The organisation itself needs to be sued. Um, but I don't, I don't see that, um, that expressing a, an, an opinion is automatically wrong. The other issue, uh, uh, Lawrence was released uh, last night. There's bail conditions. He's not allowed to talk about the... Um, the 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 Euler's thing, um, in detail, and uh, and 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 the he was caught by Sky, who branded him the um, sacked presenter from Sky uh, from uh, GB News, as if they really care about GB News. I don't know whether it's good for a business to lose its USP, but I, uh, you know, at least I don't have to go there every Friday night and have. Uh, someone pretend that they believe in free speech while not believing in free speech whatsoever. And what's been the latest with your uh, arrest situation? Uh, well... They've clearly let you go. Yeah, they've let me go. Well, it's, it's Sadiq Khan's 
let's make a big thing out of Loz. If Sadiq Khan thinks that he can scare me, I've been intimidated by his coppers before. I feel sorry for those people. They work hard. They're hardworking men and women. And they're used as pawns by our mayor, who is terrified that his ridiculous schemes are resisted. And um, I will and always will support freedom fighters everywhere. And I don't want to live in a surveillance state. You weren't really going to rip down Ulez cameras, were you? I'm not allowed to sit, read my bail conditions. <laughs> you, you know, what, what comes across is extraordinary charm from this man who's just been arrested. Extraordinary charm. Um, and you may not like what he says. I don't. But you can't deny that extraordinary charm. Um, that languid affability. And I think one needs to make a... A clear distinction. I've always tried to make a distinction between who a person is and what a person says. I don't think the two things necessarily go together. Sorry about that for the comment section.